Hi, welcome to another video. Autumn starts here. <laughs> I know that, is it called the vernal equinox? In September, September 21st, when you get the equal number of hours for day and night. Oh, I've gone into the dark. <laughs> Camera did its thing. However, things are turning. So I know that we've got the meteorological first day of autumn which is the 1st of September. So autumn starts here. And I think I'll be able to get quite a few images of autumn throughout the next three months. But I want to get out and do it now. <laughs> it's that anticipation, isn't it? That something good is going to come of autumn photography. But equally, and I've said this before, you know, if you follow my channel, then you know very much that I'll just go out and shoot what I see. And if I see something autumnal that presents itself, and it could be abstract, it could be a lovely tree, then I'll take a snap. So I am going to take a walk down some of the back lanes. It looks lovely, doesn't it? You can see the colours are all beginning to, 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 to turn. Now I've not brought out the Sony, I've actually brought out the DSLR. And the reason is, I made a purchase. Nothing extravagant, just another eBay purchase. Is the wind not doing my hair any good? Should have brought out the, um, the hat. But I bought a new lens. This is the Tamron 18 to 200. Now I've used the 18 to 140 as my go-to lens all the time it's just a great lens um, but the reach just doesn't get there enough for me on some shots so i want to try out the 18 to 40 uh, 18 to 200 what it will mean though is that i've got to take the shot without holding it because i can't do live view on the back so i think that's my first shot they're getting ready for the trees to be felled for for the christmas as you can see, they've really grown up. This is a Christmas tree farm. I wonder if I get a shot down there with my 200. I'm going into aperture mode and just take an F11 shot, I think. I have actually brought out my lens cloth. Being a new lens, I've got no filters or anything yet because they're all, they're all ordered. Just a random shot of um, trees. It just starts it off, doesn't it? Gets me my first shot. So I'll head down the lane here and we'll pick up when I get something interesting to see. Ah, this is interesting. I've got some acorns growing out of the trees, right on the top there. And what I can do, because I've got the 18 to 200, it's kind of macro-ish, because I can get right in. Oh, there's some kind of wildlife out there. Very pretty. pretty. Just a little country cottage. I'm going to take a shot at that. I think I'm actually quite blessed living out in the countryside where it's all rural and I can get the, the vistas and the, the views. And one thing I was thinking about the other day was Something I mentioned in a previous video about do I only ever take photographs when I'm out doing a vlog? And more often than not, yes. You know, I'm only geared to taking pictures because I'm doing a, vo a vlog for my YouTube channel. But actually, I do go out and take other photographs. So I, what I was thinking, maybe I will do 
you know, if, 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 if ever I'm out and I'm just taking photographs, I'm not actually doing a vlog, is to do a midweek video, and it'll be like, I don't know, I don't want to give the game away, and then someone else pinches the idea, you know, and suddenly, oh, Judy, you're copying someone else. <laughs> but this is my idea, is that a short, maybe five-minute video called Midweek Camera Roll. <laughs> and so any photographs I've taken between videos that I've just been out with the camera, I can actually present them. Because what else do I do with my videos, you know? My, my photographs, I don't, I don't print them, I don't sell them. So any pictures I take that aren't actually in a video end up sitting on here. Ha <sighs> ha, so that might happen. <laughs> anyway up the lane. I'm going to take a walk down here, cut through where the horses are, drop down through the woods. I think I might be able to get some more abstract photographs. It's kind of capturing the scenes that I've done multiple times, but at different seasons. And we come here. This is one of my favourite locations. You normally get a tree framing the countryside and the sun is coming out now so I might be able to get a shot of the bark just to give me an abstract shot right let's size something up here because it does look lovely with the tree <laughs> so even though I've got a 200 mil lens I could take the shot at 18 mil, which is what I would have done with my other um, lens anyway. A bit of blue sky. Where are we going on this F16? F14, 50th of a second. Nice. Let's go and find some more. Okay, I had to correct myself. I had to go online and check. Vernal Equinox is the spring equinox. I'd had that in my head, but actually the autumn equinox is just called the autumnal equinox, 21st of September, the official, I call that the official start of autumn, I don't know why the um, meteorological calendar has it as the first, but that's like using the calendars, the different calendars, Gregorian, is that the calendar we use? Okay, and now, now I'm saying things and I'm going to have to check it again. <laughs> but I'm not going to check it, whatever. I'm going to go up here. You can actually see hints of autumn. That's either a dead tree or it's turning. You can see the leaves on that tree are turning. Just at the top there. Where are we? <gasps> I've walked half a mile from home. <laughs> We'll go up the bridle way. This could be treachery us because they don't they don't maintain these um, bridle ways around here. So you get the overgrown foliage, nettles. <laughs> Keep my arms to myself, and then we get this mud. Oh no! <laughs> I can see I'm going to have to tread carefully. <laughs> There's only about a five minute walk and then we're joining um, the other lane that goes back up into Wooden. So I don't think I'll get any autumn shots here in this lane. Although that looks quite magical, doesn't it? It likes, looks like a, a route into Mordor. So the big thing is, and I did this about two years ago, could have been three now, things move so quickly autumn happened and I decided to go to Derbyshire now because of the autumn colours around Derbyshire and Chatsworth I thought to myself that would be great I'll go up there it rained on the first day if I remember and then it was just overcast and bleak for the other days and when you kind of pre-plan 
and think this will be great, I'll get some great shots. And then it doesn't happen. <laughs> but I guess that's the other flip side of photography is that you've just got to make the use or the best use of whatever situation you find yourself in. I like this shot. It's about getting the right light, of course. But we've got the broken branch of the tree there. And it's kind of coming down the... I don't know if they're trying to support it there to give us access or if that's another tree. But I think that's a shot. So I'm just going to have to try and get the right exposure. Which is, it's kind of got the autumn path about it with the leaves. And it's a nice, a nice pleasant shot. Where am I? Probably at about 28 mil. I'm going to change the white balance. It's on auto at the moment. I'm going to change it to shady. That should give me some nice orange or green hues. Ooh, that is very, it's fruity. <laughs> I like that. Sometimes it's just, you know, you take a shot and that's the beauty of digital. If it was film photography, I'd have to take one shot and that's it. There's nothing else you could do about it. Digital, take the shot. Hmm, not happy with that. Let's adjust the settings. Let's adjust the white balance. Do I need more ISO? Take the shot again. No, still not happy with it. <laughs> In that case, it was two shots, so that was fine. Right, watch your footing. It's getting a bit slippery. It's going downhill here. Now oh, we got the tree. Oh, they've cut the tree. Last time I came down here, that tree was blocking the path. They've been out with their chainsaws to break it down. Listen to that wind. It's a nice shot. I'm going to take it. Let's take a shot of that. I've got the Gorilla tripod, so I'm finding wherever I can place it, because it's great for holding and taking photographs, but when you want to prop it up, you've got to find somewhere. Get down low, get down low. Try and get some of the tops of the trees. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Walk this way. I'm looking for hints of autumn. Autumn does start here. That's what I'm calling this video. But there's not a lot of leaf foliage. And why would there be? It's technically still the end of summer, isn't it? Look at the leaves, aren't they lovely? With the light shining through. Actually, look at that. All the leaves on the on the ground. And and the way it goes all the way down there. That's a nice shot. I'm gonna try and set something up for that. Let's put you over here. It's lovely. <laughs> I'm getting further away. Bye. Oh, it's lovely. I've got all these leaves. Nice. Did I say I was on my lunch break? <laughs> I've been looking out the window as I've been working and it's been um, torrential rain for the weekend. But it cleared up today. Right, I'll get down to the bottom. Yeah, so I was indoors and I was thinking, let's just go out and take some photographs. Going back to what I was saying about the midweek camera roll, maybe that's the kind of thing. If I'm just out taking a walk, I'll always take my camera with me and more than likely take a bunch of shots. And that's what I can do with them. I can put them on a midweek roll, maybe do a voiceover for each shot. I took this shot while I was stood, blah, 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 blah. Or not, just do some music. I'll have to think about that. How would you like to see the video? Would you like it just with music, if you're interested in that kind of thing? Would you like me to talk you through without doing a video like this, but just here's the image displayed and then a little bit of info on why I took the shot. Yeah, I'll have to have a think about it. Right, we're coming out of the end of the bridal way now. Always look back, but there's not a pleasing shot there. Hmm. 
not so autumnal. This tree is beginning to turn. It's a lovely tree. Is it an oak tree? I think it is. Maybe it's a case of between now and September. Let's just take a few shots of it and compare it each time. I've got the light coming down. Oh, it's a chestnut. I can see the um, conkers on it. Would they call it a horse chestnut? It's worth a shot, isn't it? Oh, we've got some wonderful sky. Let's give the lens a quick clean. Walking through the woods, I might have had a droplet or two of water on there. <laughs> I did a cut there. You wouldn't have known. I was trying to p take a picture, but it wasn't working. So I like this shot. I can put the tree in the right-hand third, or the left-hand third, like that, and then capture the little house just on the far right. And actually, if I come out a bit, that gives me the house. It's all about perspective and moving your angle. Nice tree. Getting used to my new lens. Well, there you go. I think that might do it. A little lunchtime walk and a little bit of photography. A little bit of windswept and interesting. <laughs> um, what more can I say? Get out with your camera, take pictures, learn more, do more. If you get a new bit of kit like I have, experiment with it, see what it can do for you. I'm particularly interested in the 200 mil for two reasons. I'm going to Duxford next weekend with my son. And last time I went, I took my 300 mil, but the reach was too much for the kind of photography that I do. You know, if I'm taking a picture of Sally B coming across the, the runway, uh, even the 140 does it, but I thought, just get the 200. But equally, because I'm going to Scandinavia with my son in October, I think this will be the perfect go-to lens. Right, I might get one more shot as I'm walking up here because I can see the colours are changing. See on the trees there. So I might just take a gap, take a shot through a gap up here. It's a funny thing, the, um, the clouds are hazy, but it's still giving washes of light. Can you see the light washing across the field? Rather spectacular. And you know what? Always keep the camera rolling. <laughs> so when I said, that's it, I'm probably still going to get a shot or two while I'm up here. I like the trees. Look, you can see the reds coming in on the trees there. So I'm going to get try and get a shot of that, I think. The sun's coming out. It looks lovely. Shot of the tree at 200 mil with the sheeps. And that tree just looks lovely. I've got the tree, but I've got all these plants in the foreground blowing in the wind. It's nice. And there's hints of the sun. Now, if I change the aperture, get it to the widest I can to get that depth of field that the tree is focused, but the background is black, uh, is What's the word I'm looking for? Unfocused. So let's drop the aperture down, because I'm in aperture priority. F5. Will it do anything? Will it make the background blurred? It's very pretty. And then I'll take a couple of shots of these trees here. Is it a pano? Can I get it all in? I want it focused, the sun's coming. I'm gonna do a pano. One shot, two shots, three shots. It's trees, isn't it? Sun's coming out, should've brought the sunnies out. <laughs> okay, I think I'll, I'll end the video there. Autumn starts here. That, that was the objective, this video. And also trying out the new Tamron 80 to 200. I say new, my camera's 14 years old now. 2012, 12 years old, 2012 it was released. Still take blinded pictures. I would like to upgrade. 
but I'm not in a position to spend lots of money on a bit of kit because life gets in the way, right? And um, you have other priorities for your pennies. But it takes good pictures, and so that means if I need to upgrade the lens, then so be it. 89 quid it cost me, which didn't break the bank. And I will use it for the next batch of videos, if I'm not using the Sony Cybershot, and just see how it works. Does it give me the clarity that the other lenses did? It's all experimental. Okay, I'll call it quits. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. I'll get out of breath. <laughs> Bye for now.